Johnny, have we really got to talk about the new bloody Disney Snow White movie? Yeah, well, we're a hard-hitting news channel, Johnny, so we've got to do what the millions of our viewers are requesting. All right, what do you think about it? What do I think? Well, I think it's another instance of Disney fucking the bloody th uh, good thing up. Are you? Yeah, I mean, it's Snow White. It's a German folk tale from a couple hundred years ago, 300 years ago or whatever. So naturally, Snow White's going to be fucking Snow White. The problems began early on with the casting of Rachel Zegler as Snow White. Now, why was this a problem, you might ask? Well, the original German folktale describes the character as follows. In less world-dominating terms, Snow White had lips red as a rose, hair black as ebony, and skin white as snow. Skin white as snow. Skin white, white as snow. Well, she's supposed to be, but that's why she's called Snow White, isn't she? Yeah! Now, it's nothing against the little actress who's playing Snow White. I mean, you'd jump at the bloody... You'd jump at the opportunity, wouldn't you? So it's nothing against her. But you may as well call her Snow Bloody Ye. This is not Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is Caramel Brown and the Seven People. <laughs> what? So the powers that be, they, they want to get everybody inclusive. So they want a bit of everybody in the whole fucking film. Chinese, black, Hispanic, Japanese, bloody Hawaiian. Native American? I wonder if they've got any Native Americans in there. They don't get much of a run. <laughs> now, old Walt. Walt! He knew how to tell a story. That's right, Johnny. Old Walt, he knew how to bloody tell a story. Yes, yes, of course. And he was a bloody pretty hard taskmaster, old Walt. He used to fucking watch whatever those bloody writers and animators were doing and anything he didn't like, he said, fuck that, get that out of there. Johnny, <laughs> that's fucking bullshit. If you're going to have fucking Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, I think it's best if you have Seven Dwarfs. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to the job centre they go, for the Seven Dwarfs have been replaced by, quote, magical creatures. But, but, but Johnny, the story's in, it's... Okay, so that's the Seven Dwarfs that we all know and love. You got your Sleepy, your Doc, your Dopey, <laughs> the rest of them, the usual set of characters. They are now remaking this into a live-action movie, and this is real. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. These are <laughs> the new seven dwarfs. You may know that there's only one dwarf there. That's one thing. And <laughs> what? And this right here is the decline of Western culture summed up in a single image. And this movie is the literal personification of everything wrong with modern entertainment. And you've got to have an evil queen for Christ. I don't know what they're doing with the queen. She probably won't be as evil as, 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 as she was made out with Walt's version. That's part of the bloody storytelling process, Johnny, part of the process. But Johnny, do the little kids give a rat's ass about that? Won't they just enjoy the film or... In fact, I don't see this bloody live action version uh, being any more entertaining to kids than the fucking 1936 version Walt was bloody doing. What do you want me to do, draw your picture? It's gonna be shit. Yeah, I've said it. The version's gonna be shit. Uh, uh, let me tell you, Johnny, the Ask Johnny channel, we're not going to stand for this sort of shit, especially when it comes to Disney. Uh, well. Disney has a long, proud legacy of making films that people actually like. Old Walt have come down on them like a ton of fucking bricks.